In this video, I'd like to extend the range of functions that we can differentiate by introducing a couple of new rules. The first of these rules works as follows. Suppose we want to differentiate some function that's been multiplied by a constant k. To do this, we can first differentiate the function itself and then afterwards multiply by the constant. We can easily illustrate this with an example. Suppose we want to find the derivative of 5x cubed. In this case, 5 is the constant we're multiplying by. So we first differentiate x cubed and then we would multiply by 5. The derivative of x cubed is just 3x squared. So in total, we get 5 times 3x squared, which is 15x squared. The second rule is useful when we want to find the derivative of two separate terms or a group of terms. In this case, all we need to do is differentiate each term separately. So here, where we're doing the derivative of f of x plus or minus g of x, we could first differentiate f of x and then separately differentiate g of x and then we could add or subtract them depending on what we're doing. We can illustrate this one with a simple example as well. Suppose we want to differentiate x cubed minus 3x. First, we would differentiate x cubed and then we could subtract the derivative of 3x and that would give us our answer. So the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and the derivative of 3x is 3. So we get 3x squared minus 3. It's worth noting with these rules that as of yet, I've shown you no derivation of how these results occur. But later on in this unit, when we look at differentiation from first principles, we'll actually see that it's possible to prove these. And it is in fact something they could ask you to do in the exam. But for now, we're just focusing on applying the rules. Okay, let's put these rules together and have a look at some examples. Okay, in part A, we have f of x equals one half x cubed. So we're going to find f dash of x. And to do that, first we multiply by the power. A half multiplied by three is three over two. And then subtract one from the power gives us x squared. In part b, we have y equals x to the half plus x to the minus three plus two. So this time we are finding dy by dx. We've got three separate terms which we can differentiate separately. We'll start with x to the half, multiplying by the power gives us one half, and then subtracting one from the power gets us to negative one half. So we have a half x to the negative one half. For the second term, first we multiply by the power, that's gonna give us a negative three out front, and then reduce the power by one, gives us x to the negative four. Finally, we have plus two. If we differentiate a constant, we get zero. In part C, we have f of x equals 2x cubed minus 4x to the 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 2x to the negative 1. We're finding f dash of x. First, we multiply by the power. 2 times 3 is 6, and then reduce the power by 1 gives us 6x squared. For the second term, we multiply by the power. 4 times 3 over 2 gives us 6. So we have minus 6x. And then if you subtract 1 from the power, it gets us down to one half. Next, we need to differentiate minus nine X. There are two ways you could do this. You could think of this as X to the power of one, and then you can multiply by one and reduce the power to naught. And anything to the power naught is just one, but it's more simple if we just think about minus nine X as being like a straight line. And the gradient of the straight line minus nine X would just be minus nine. For the last term, we've got two x to the negative one. Multiplying by the power gives us negative two and subtracting one from the power gives us x to the negative two. Okay, here's a few problems for you to have a go at for yourself. Pause the video and then come back and check your solutions against mine. Welcome back, here are my solutions. If you didn't get any of them right, I'm gonna go through how I got my answers now. In part A, we have f of x equals 2x to the 5. So to find the derivative of that, multiply by the power, 2 times 5 is 10. And then we get x to the power of 4. In part B, we're finding dy dx. Multiplying by the power gives us minus 2 at the front. 
and then subtracting 1 from the power gives us x to the negative 3. For the next term, multiplied by the power gives us plus 1 quarter. And then subtracting 1 from a quarter gets us to negative 3 quarters. Then we have to differentiate 6x, which just gives us 6. In part c, we're finding f dash of x. For the first term, multiplying by the power, a quarter times 2 is a half. Reduce the power by 1 gives us x to the 1, which we just write as x. For the next one, 3 times 5 over 2 gives us 15 over 2. So we have minus 15 over 2. Subtracting 1 from the power gets us to 3 over 2. And then for the third term, multiply by the power gives us 1 third. Subtracting 1 from a third gets us to negative 2 thirds. So we get x to the negative 2 thirds. Finally, we have to differentiate the plus 5, which differentiates to 0.